We're down here at the um, conventional corn bunk and Vinny's just getting ready to to move uh, corn silage for tomorrow's feeding. And um, he's using a silage rake on the uh, 544 payloader. Uh, we could use this tool on either one of the payloaders. What he'll do is he'll knock this down with the silage rake. I bought this silage rake last year for uh, reaching up to the, to the highest point Bulk, we couldn't reach uh, the highest part with the defacer. So what he'll do is he'll knock this down with the silage rake and then he'll go in with the defacer and um, finish the face off with the defacer. Um, you can see the face there is a lot tighter from the defacer opposed to the face that the uh, silage rake leaves. All the silage rake has is just um, teeth on the, on the front of it there, and he's just using that to, to straight uh, face down. There's a little longer reach on that than what the um, the facer has. I think I think that is 16 foot long, and re we can reach as high as. Uh, 32 feet with that when it's um, when it's all the way up in the air it's a little safer to use that than it is to uh, undermine the corn silage with the defacer and have a large lip that sticks out you can actually have that uh, fall off on you it is dangerous to be next to these bunks like that that's probably 25 foot high uh, right there and if that falls, that's going to come out 25 feet. So guys have been killed uh, with having bolts fall down on them. So he's just got to continue raking at the, the side of that. Um, we find that it's better to try to rake the, the feed or deface it than it is to peck at it with the bucket. It's a, it's a lot of, of added stress to the bucket arms loader opposed to um, raking the feed down plus when you dig into the corn silage to pack at it you're actually disrupting more of the feed and allowing more oxygen to get into the feed than if you're just defacing or raking like what he's doing now this rake was made by Fritch and Fritch made the um, the our defacer as well. See, he's just kind of pulling that down uh, very nicely. Another thing this works really good for is getting up next to the wall. The defacer doesn't work as good getting up next to the wall because it leaves about eight or ten inches.
he's got all his feet knocked down now. He was about seven minutes uh, knocking all that down. That's about 40 tons worth of uh, silage right there. Um, knocked down for um, loading onto a truck. So he's just pulling the bottom back a little bit. And then he'll just go in and uh, scoop this up with a with a payloader and dump it into a truck. Once he gets hooked on to uh, the defacer, we will um, we will watch him run that. So he's just pulling out here now. All right, Vinny, uh, he's got the defacer on the 624 now. They actually just got done doing an oil change on the 624. And we are in the BMR silage bunk right now. And he's just getting fired up with the defacer. As you can see, the, uh, the face that's left there now is from the silage rate. And what he's using is the, uh, the defacer, and you can see how much better of a face that the defacer leaves. the silage rake and now he's just just taking off that last little bit of roughness there to leave as tight of a face that we can have you can kind of think of the face of the bulk like an accordion more or less it's almost a like an accordion shape with all them divots from the silage rake if you stretch that whole area out and made that straight you'd have more of a surface area open from the silage rake than you have left from the silage defacer. Uh, you kind of have the same thing um, with the face of the bunk when you peck at it with the bucket. In other words, when you're digging out with the uh, bucket, you're leaving caverns in uh, the face. And if you add up all that square cubic foot or square inches of uh, space you have more space left open from a rough face than you do a smooth face almost like there's uh you know more distance in a crooked line than there is a, a straight line that defacer from the attachment pad His arms are smaller and shorter on this one than the 544. So this one with the silage rake on it doesn't lift as high as the 'Cause he can't get any closer to the wall any more than that because he's got about six inches to eight inch uh, of, a, of an end on there. This defacer has a drive motor on each side that drives it. Okay, we're up on top of the bump now looking down.
disadvantage of the defacer is once you knock your material down, it's kind of in your way. So usually what they'll do is uh, deface the bottom first, then drive up and then deface the top. Because if you deface the top down first, then you're left with the pile. You can't reach the, the bottom. He's driving up on the material. He needs enough material here for uh, two truck loads. About 40 tons. He's just finishing up here now. We'll go down and take a look at this face uh, from the ground level. Um, he's got to go down and do the halage bunks now. And uh, then he'll take the defacer off, put the bucket on, and start loading his truck. Done there now, so we split these bunks in half. We came down through that side, we swung around, and we started coming at it um, from this way. And then, if we don't get the bunk empty when we go to fill it, the silage from last year will be left in the front. All right, he is done and moved on to uh, the haylage bunk. Well, um, we'll go down and take a peek at him um, while he's doing the haylage, but we'll just do a cross view of the bunk here. I'll give you an idea of uh, what it looks like across there. You know, it's just, as, just about as straight as that wall on that other side, and that's kind of what you want. Um, it's kind of dangerous standing here too. That could topple over, so I'm gonna get out away from here. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, face is just about as, about as hard as the concrete too. So you can't penetrate into that at all. So the harder the face is, the straighter the face is, the, the less amount of, uh, impact you're going to have from, um, spoilage, from oxygen getting into, um, the feed. We are in um, the second cotton haylage bunk. Um, that's what he's defacing now. Haylage is about the hardest, uh, the hardest thing to dig out, deface. Uh, the hardest thing on a silo loader. Um, it is just a mongrel to uh, deal with when it's piled in a bunk. Um, the defacer makes quick and easy work of that. Uh, the face of this halage is, I mean, you, you'd have trouble getting a solid handful of halage out of there. That's how tight it, it is, so. All right, that ought to give you enough of an idea of uh, how the silent brake works and the uh, defacer. Some guys only have one or the other. We bought the... Um, silage rake to uh, reach up to the uh, tallest bunk that we have and um, you know we just knock that down with the silage rake and then we find working with the two of them it's just faster because it, it it is slower um, the defacer is slower than the silage rake but if we use the silage rake first knock down a majority of it and then put uh, finishing uh, face on there with a defacer everything works good so that's going to do it for uh, the defacing and silage raking